That's it. It's gone. What's up guys, it's Supercar Blondie and it's nearly 2020. Can't believe it. This video you're watching right now is a compilation of the top 10 coolest concept cars that I found in 2019. In order to track down these cars, I spent over 20 days a month traveling lived out of a suitcase for over half a year. So if you haven't yet subscribed, please do subscribe to the Supercar Blondie family. All right, I think we should just get to it. This car is so special, it's got two bodyguards. That is mad, mad. exhaust pipes. Where have you ever seen that before? This car was driven in Batman the movie. This car you can see is kind of based on the AMG GT. Right, it's got that kind of long nose and they have basically made an AMG GT look like a spaceship. Look, you've got two fuel caps here. So one here on this side and then the same thing on this side. We're in. Look at this steering wheel. So this is kind of like the project one, Batman style. And then this actually lights up here in the center, which looks quite cool. And then there's those eight air vents as well. So this is the Audi AI Trail. This is made for off-roading. As I said, this is their vision of a car that can take you places wherever you want to go, like forests, beaches, etc., etc. You'll never guess what's on the roof. You have drones on the roof. Here they are, one, two, three, four, five of them. And they actually act as spotlights. Instead of having spotlights on the front of the car, the drones will lift off, fly in front of the car and light the way. It means that you can see even further forward than you would with traditional car spotlights. Once you're on the trail, say you're going hiking in the forest, park the car, the drones will then actually follow you as you walk through the forest and then lead you back to the car so that you always have light. Hammocks as chairs. I've never seen that before. That is super cool. The driver takes their phone and slots it just in here. Okay, and this becomes your dash. There are no other buttons or levers in the car. Look, there's no center console where you control anything. It's completely free. Everything is controlled by your smartphone. You only have a wheel, a smartphone and some pedals. This car can drive all by itself. No one in the car, as you can see. With a car. <laughs> here it is, here it is. Look at it. There's no one inside this car. 
That is pretty damn cool. The door will open. Yeah. Welcome to the future. If it's fully autonomous, no steering wheel. However, when you want to drive, there's a D drive mode. It's got my grubby fingerprints on it. There we go. Now check out what happens. The speaker comes out and the steering wheel is revealed. Check this out. What? <laughs> that is pretty damn cool. Take a look at this you guys this is the ds x e tense it's based in paris it's like a butterfly door on this side And this is a gullwing door, a completely different door from the other side. This is a, a, a glass floor here, so you can see all the way through. And then this is a floating passenger seat. Take a look at that. That is cool. Okay, let me show you what's in here. Look, it's a little coffee machine. Take this out, have your little coffee. This is how you put it in gear. Just with this little button, hold that down and it will go into drive. So millennio. This is what they would picture their first ever electric vehicle to look like and what they're doing is they they want to move away from like the traditional placement of batteries on electric vehicles you know with a lot of electric vehicles like the tesla you've got the batteries that kind of line the floor like here right what they're going to do is put batteries kind of where the naturally aspirated uh, v12 would be in a lamborghini today they'll put some batteries here some batteries in the front but what's even cooler is they're going to generate energy from the body itself. The carbon fiber will be self-healing. When it detects a little scratch, a little nick in the body of the car, it will actually emit a little bit of uh, this powerful glue material that will then fuse the carbon fiber back together before it turns into a bigger crack and you have to replace the whole piece. Hello 
Look at this. This has 6,000 LED lights just in the front here. Around the back here, you'll see this whole part here is a curved LED screen. You can actually put anything on here. It doesn't just have to be these lines. Take a look at how massive these wheels are. 27 inch. Well, let's open her up. See how it kind of comes out first, like this? And then this whole side of the car is gonna open up. That's how big the door is. Look how massive this door is. It's like a wing. Looks like it almost could take off. If it was this way out. <laughs> Come on in. I'll show you around the interior here. So, um, there's so much going on in here because of course this is what they picture the future of driving to be like. I'm going to pop in to the driver's seat over here. Okay. This is all crystal underneath here. And then a glass surface over the top. So this is actually where you would interact with the car. You would be able to, for example, plug in the destination. There are two modes, autonomous for the future, those of you who don't want to be driving and you can just experience or just to have an experience going from A to B. This steering wheel will go in. This will actually retract into the back of the car so that this seat can go all the way back just like this one is right here. Take a look at this. What happens here? Here are the initials of the Rolls Royce founders, Rolls and Royce. So the luggage is delivered to you. Easy. Unless you're, you know, seven foot tall. You pull that out. Well, the bellboy pulls it out, right? And off you go. And look at this, you guys, the thought of everything. The Rolls Royce badge here is also weighted. Look, just as the wheels are on the car. Boom, you got yourself a Rolls Royce umbrella. There is a light here that projects onto the ground, this light all the way down here, so it looks like a red carpet. Never seen that before. And then sit down on the silk couch. This is silk. And then this is hand woven wool carpet. So thick and soft. This is what they picture the next 100 years of BMW to involve. <laughs> this, this is bad. This is called a live geometry. So what happens is when he turns the wheel, Obviously, because this is all enclosed, there needs to be some room here for the wheel to actually turn. So as it turns, this expands and contracts. 
see on and then this side, because I'll turn on this side. This has level four autonomy, meaning it can drive fully on its own, but if you would like to drive it, you can. So it does have a steering wheel and it has pedals. We can actually make this steering wheel completely disappear if you want it in autonomous mode. That's it, it's gone. Look at this guys. I mean, this is pretty cool. It's, it's like warning. it's breathing. Why does it do this? Because it's warning you of an object on the road that maybe you can't see. The EQ Silver Arrow is in Dubai. Oh, is oh, this yeah. going to work? Your hand. Your hand. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that looks very... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah! Yes, and I still have got all my dignity intact. <laughs> and then you will see how it actually embraces you. So all the different drive modes are here in the middle of the wheel, which actually makes it really, really easy to control because, of course, you've always got to have your hands on the wheel anyway instead of, you know, having to put your hands on the wheel and somehow finding buttons down here, which is generally the center console. And this is the view from inside. <laughs> wait, wait. No, you need to step I'm going to duck. Duck and roll. No, this way isn't working. No, go further back. <laughs> All right, thank you. Thank you, thank you. How amazing is this car? What's up guys, it's Supercar Blondie here in Paris and I am with the Renault Trezor and I want to show you around this incredible car. Isn't that just crazy beautiful? And then take a look at this honeycomb kind of texture here on the top. Look how that opens up. <laughs> That's mad. I've never seen that before. How beautiful does it look? It's not just for design, it's actually for function. This is actually designed as an air intake. So what it does is it throws air through the batteries here in the front. So there are batteries here in the front and then batteries in the back. This is a carbon fiber body that has the honeycomb shape all the way through. That is incredibly beautiful. I've never seen that before. These tail lights here, look how, first of all, this is a laser fiber a light. You see how you can touch them? They're all little beams running through here. And then when you break, watch what happens. They actually move. What? Did you see that? What? I'll open up the top again. And look how when the top opens, these headrests automatically move back so that you can get in easily. So the pedals here, you can adjust. See this honeycomb shape again running through the tires. You're fully like enclosed in this glass canopy and look at the vision. You've got nothing in your way, which I really, really like. You see all the way around. Zero to 100 in less than four seconds. Alright guys, comment below, tell me which one of those cars was your favourite, what you liked about it and make sure you hit that subscribe button, put the little bell on as well so that you are the first to see my vids as soon as they come out in 2020. My next 
video is going to be one of the coolest cars of 2020. I have a world exclusive on this. 6th of January, 9 p.m. PST. That's when it's gonna go live. Supercar Blondie caps. If you haven't got one yet, go check them out. Link to my shop is in the description below. Love this one. I would absolutely love to see you rocking my gear. It's actually really exciting for me because when I travel around the world and I see someone wearing a hat of mine or a t-shirt or whatever, I'm just like, oh my God, this is crazy. And I'll literally come up and give you a hug. That's it. All right, guys. Love you guys. Have a fantastic New Year's. Happy 2020. And yeah, I wish you all the best for your start. Love you guys. Bye.